and welcome to my YouTube I want to show you absolutely what this is all about let's see if you can follow me let's see how smart my my youtubers are or how much they're paying attention I'm going to show you we're going to start off just like God said, let there be light. We're going to start off in the beginning. Let there be a dog. And this is what it looks like. This is a dog with other dogs, obviously. But when it gets transformed, okay, it gets into many other different types of dogs. What I mean by is that when you really go to pull it, you'll find that you can get it to transform into this image and there's a YouTube on this so I'm gonna push the limit a little bit to let you know that if you look right there that's my man I didn't put it there and I did a YouTube regarding it just lately go back and research my YouTubes and you're gonna find the greatest painting on the planet that has my painting in it well, while I'm doing that, let me do this real quick for you to understand that this painting right here is what we are looking at. I apologize that it's going to be to where it just pops up right there in front of you. It should have been done. I'm slacking. I'm going to get hurt by my editor because, well, I put her to work. I put her to work pretty hard and she works super, super hard for us today and last night she actually overworks and gets my opinion underpaid and I think she knows that I know because I'm a straight honest individual but right now we're fighting for our subscriptions and we're fighting for many other things and I've tried to make up for many other little doodads in life just like we all have so I mean you know I've actually one and a half times more than what she's asked for even though she's not asked for it I don't know how that comes about but anyway okay I know I'm getting confused too so what I'm saying is she's not greedy she's a very very good hearted individual so anyway I'm going to show you in this painting approximately in this area right here is this image that is going to be before you it cannot be seen by the human eye this if you screen shoot this you're going to find out that this image is a cowboy and out of this cowboy there goes my airplane I'm getting excited here here's a cowboy with his cowboy dog all cartoon Okay, because Leonardo da Vinci does the Mona Lisa in cartoons. Again, you have to follow my YouTubes. Now, if you take a look, this is Jesus Christ. He's got the same color that put, that goes with it. And he's got the white-haired disciple. And if you count and go all the way around, there's a whole party. A party. And you're invited to his, <clears throat> to his Last Supper. And he's looking on over. Well, it gets really, 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 really wild. Because when I asked you guys, or told you guys, that I was going to do my best, that each time I took the doggy, I transformed it. Okay, look at this transformed. What do you see? See, it's another Leonardo da Vinci's trick right in front of you. Okay. And it's going to show you where my image is. I'm going to show you where this cowboy, okay, after transforming, is in the dog. Because he loves dogs. And you're going to see his eye. You're going to see all that beautiful stuff. So hang in there and you're going to see. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Because my editor deserves it and I do too and I don't mean to pat myself on the back but I think we've been doing a good job and I think you guys have been doing a good job and I want to thank you even if you don't think so and you don't subscribe I still want to thank you okay so anyway here we go again 
this image right here, what is it? Okay, take a look at the outside circle here, like the Mona Lisa would be, okay? And it runs on down and sloops. Here's an eye, that's the nose. This is Leonardo da Vinci looking that way. Okay, <clears throat> it is a metaphor of certain things. But this image is only about one hundredth. It could be one thousand of a percent. In other words, a thousand pages. That means each time I transform this, it'll come into another image such as this. Or it would be like it was originally, which Bill Gates has. And he can get a hold of me and he could be my right arm and my best friend. I can use friends. Could you use another friend, Mr. Gates? You're a lucky man. You're almost a twin to what my life was. My father being a TV repairman. And I was handicapped. I'm going to do a biography about me. And Anyway, here's another image and it pulls out other items that are in it that highlight. There's You have to go by shadows and you have to go by sections. So what I mean is, is Leonardo da Vinci doesn't just jump out and give you the Mona Lisa as a whole sometimes. He gives you like this particular area here, whatever it may be, you have to work it. This particular area right here might be the surrounding of her head. And then these are two lovers or so. And then obviously you got the dog, but you got all these and they all transform. So what is underneath this is another hundred to a thousand different layers that change. And change was the renaissance man of the gay res rev revolution. So if anybody wants to think, when did uh, San Francisco uh, toot their horn in the sense of all the gay people that come out of the closet in 1977? Leonardo da Vinci beat you and I got the proof. And he's a good man. Okay, now you can't stop love. Now, when I was playing to keep my promise, I transformed this image, which is the dog again, as you see. But what do you see on the right side, on the inner side of the eye? You see the image that is right here, right here, with an arm hanging up. It has a portion that he gives you a taste, a taste. He doesn't give it to me all the way. He's been teasing you, he's been teasing me, and he's a teaser. Like um, a lover would be, a teaser, okay? We keep that between ourselves. But let me put this up to you. What looks close? What looks, what's the closest? <laughs> oh, I got to get me some, so I really wish I had some really telemed or some psychological. What here looks the same? Anybody want to raise their hand and call me right away? Anybody got my number? I'm going to show you how those eyes light up. Hmm. I don't hear you. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm just going to have to do this by myself again. You, I can't afford to have anybody else do it. And I've been working my tail off for you. So when I go to overlay this, watch what happens. You see how it just lays over there? Now it doesn't fit 100%, but you know what he's doing. He's giving you a paper bag that's ripped up on one section, and if you taped it up, you know what it is. Okay, now, if you really want to know, I pull it down and you go back up. Look at, look at what? Okay, you see this dog? Watch. You see this dog? I put this back up and line it, right? Watch the eyes light up. Look. Right in here, dot, 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 even with little white dot arts, hearts, here's the dog's eye. Okay? 
here's the cowboy. He allows it to shift and move. Okay, he's got the dog's eye over here. Look, that's Leo. He's not going to give it to you a hundred percent, just like he's not going to give it to you, because, like in the blue, in the blue. Where's the blue? Anybody know where my blue is? Hey, didn't they make a movie called Blue? I think they made a movie called Blue. Okay, so you see this. Now I need you to screen shoot this. Side by side, I've done it before with you. There they are, they're twins. That is an image which I pulled and got extremely blessed by my Supreme God of the face of my man. I can't get better than that in the sense. But don't forget that I've showed you the x-ray. Now we're going to go to my x-ray. Where's my x-ray? Anybody know where? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There it is. That was a long time to get to my x-ray. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Okay, so here's my x-ray. We're going to open my x-ray up. My x-ray is your x-ray. How about that? Can we share? I hope you believe in God. There's the x-ray of the Mona Lisa. Where's the Mona Lisa? I didn't even bring the Mona Lisa out because she's so dominating in the world for people to know. So I'm going to put this over and I'm going to show you I'm going to show you who the Mona Lisa is. And it's going to relate to one of my pictures later in one of my YouTubes. And I hope you have a flashback. But look at this. Look at that. Would you take her out? Would you take this woman out? In a heartbeat. I wouldn't hesitate. Now let me just show you something else, okay? Really? I mean, let's, we got to be honest. All right. Now you guys are on the same page. I can feel it. I can feel it. Because, you know what? You just got to go with your, you just got to go with your subscribers. Would you go out with that man if you were a man or a woman? Would, I mean, he's a handsome man. Would you want him to be out to where all the girls looked at him and you even got to even meet some that he got to meet or or whatever but he's actually Jesus Christ and he actually has a big G in his eye and that is one of G uh, Leonardo da Vinci's lovers name Giovanni and that is in my YouTubes now remember, 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 remember. Okay? That this painting is not a painting of a painting. It is not it is not a still painting. It is not just hung on the wall. It is not just something in which you would say, "Oh, it it follows me across the room. How come? It's more than what everybody's been talking about the Mona. And the reason why it's more, because it has to be more. In other words, if you're conceited and you really have something to be conceited about, then more power to you. But this painting is the power. It is the power of Jesus Christ proposing. He's proposing to the older, mature, gorgeous, beautiful Mona Lisa of the dreams that would scare the hell out of any wife to wonder if she would lose her husband against Jesus Christ. And vice versa. So what I'm saying is, is that if Jesus Christ came to your front door and said, I love your wife to be my wife, you lose. How about these women say, oh, I want 
The Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa. You could be a woman and love the Mona. You could be a man and love the Mona. You could be a man and love Jesus. And you can be a man and love Jesus as a man. You could be a man at, and, and love the Mona. Or love your wife. Or love another woman. You could be anything you want. And he metaphored all of this. All of it. What he's telling you is that love cannot be beaten, cannot be touched, cannot be, but cannot be disputed in any way. When you love, you love. Period. You 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 don't need a court order. You don't need you don't need a judge. You don't need anything because remember why Jesus Christ is here. Why is Jesus Christ in the painting of Leonardo da Vinci? You want to know the answer? Because the love that Jesus Christ, no matter if it's a man for a man, even if it's a Mona to be a man, even, even if the man is loving another stylist of many different women including a man no matter if this was a dog that we have just shown you that shown you that he's a dog hidden in within okay even then even then because he is Jesus Christ and she is Mary and I've showed you this in the last supper you're forgiven all is forgiven. So give it up. When you love, you love and give it up on thinking that something's wrong. Because guess what? God makes it right. And I'm sure he's up there dancing. Dancing on the Mona. Dancing with the Monas. And loving it all the way because I found the answer of why he painted this. He painted it for one big reason. Anybody know before I tell you? You got it. You got it. He painted it for love. Pure love. And in this painting is trillions of images of love. And that's how come I put a half a million plus of my time and money in this thing. And I love you guys too. Call me crazy. Call me nuts. Call me tomorrow. Call me next week. Send me an email. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. I've had very little thumbs down. Thank you for that. I'm honored that I have pleased you guys. I have worked hard for these answers. And with that, I, 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 I know there's a thousands and millions of other reasons. So don't hold me to everything. But what I do know for sure, one of the top answers that, that is in this painting is about love. Go find your Mona. Don't give up on looking for your Mona. And don't forget, okay, there's a God out there. And he's using all of us. And he can use me all the time. And I will speak and show you the proof. And what I got to say to you, again, I'm going to have to let you go. You guys got me too excited again. And may God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. And I want you to stay safe socially, okay? Go look for your monas. And oh, oh, one more thing. Please call anybody and everybody, email anybody and everybody that's going bang on with that brick notification bell going Turn around and don't forget to subscribe. It has to be at least 10 minutes into the video. And don't forget, okay, I don't care about... There's Monas in many different fashions. 
different fashions. Okay, and this, 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 this is a beautiful, a beautiful shot. Cannot be seen with the human eye. And he's got Jesus Christ in there with a cartoon having a beautiful time. And all these micro dots, I can't stop. You know, I just can't stop. Anyway, all these micro dots are images of portraits of people as big as this. But when you keep blowing them up, 100 mega pixel phase one camera shot these images on my painting twice what they use from the universe to the earth it is a very expensive camera and a very good macro that got down into the images and i was blessed